Oh, what's up, man? You a new freshman? Yeah. What's up? My name is Jesse. I'm a senior here at, um... Hi, Jesse. At Friel Township High School. Today I'm going to teach you how to survive as a freshman here. So you know, at FTHS there's a lot of rules. There's rules for the hallway, there's rules for the bathroom, there's rules for the lunchroom. And you, you know, if you want to, if you want to like survive in high school, you gotta make sure that you follow all of these rules. But yeah, I'm just looking for D hole, man. <laughs> but these are all rules that you learn eventually. But I'm here to make sure that you get a jump start and you're the best freshman you could possibly be. So let's start with the hallway rules. So the hallway rules. There's a lot of rules you gotta follow, to, and like very carefully. Because if you don't follow any of these rules, you're gonna frustrate a lot of big, scary, mean seniors like me. And if okay. All right. As you can see, these rules are very important to follow. And the first rule: never walk in front of seniors slow, and never frustrate them and just cut them off, alright? They will beat you up like I just did that kid right there. Also, big important rule, never stand in the middle of the hallway. All you do is frustrate people and you just cause traffic. Bro, what are you even doing? What? Are you... And please, for the love of God, don't you and all your friends just be walking in the middle of the hallway. Yeah, good, bro. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> um, I would say one tip that I would give to freshmen is uh, don't shenanigans in the middle of the hallways. It's pretty good. Yeah. Baby girl, I'm good. How about you? Doing good. Hey, do you want to see a movie later? You know, I think I have work later. Oh, maybe another time then. Yeah. Cause I, cause I want to go out with you. You know, I think uh, I told my neighbor that I would watch their ferret for like the next month. So okay, I don't know. that's that's all good. Another well, time. I'm free always. I don't go out. Oh well. Okay. Yo, Chuck, listen. See what that kid just did right there? Yeah. Just walking that girl in the middle of the hallway. What about him? You need to do that differently if you want to actually get a girl. Oh, okay. What you need to do? You see a girl walking by? Shoot her a nice compliment, and you'll be dating her in no time. Thanks, man. No problem. What's up, girl? I love your long arms. <laughs> oh, you are so beautiful. I want to touch your luscious hair. And and be your girl, be your boyfriend, girlfriend. <laughs> Perfect. All right, right here we're gonna go over how you need to dress in school. As you can see here, Jeffrey is dressed exactly how you shouldn't dress. But how you need to dress has to be very streetwear, like this. Now many people think that there's like the best way to go up the stairs and a lot of people think that you have to use one step at a time, but that's wrong. If you want to be as cool as possible, you have to make sure that you step at least two steps at a time and run as fast as possible like this. <coughs> also make sure you never get enough sleep for school because if once you realize you don't need to sleep, you don't need sleep. You sleep, you don't need it. <laughs> 
haven't slept since sophomore year. Sleep is not important. Yo, do you sleep? Nah, bro. I made that shot because I don't sleep. Listen, a lot of people think that sleep is really important. It's not, it's actually not important at all. You don't need to sleep at all. You can just stay awake. Tip number one. Don't do your homework. <laughs> don't do your homework. You don't need to do homework. They make you think you want to do homework, but in reality, if you do homework, you're actually going to fail more in school. And don't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect.